milestone one says dream catcher and i'm like yo what the f is that i want to i want to tell you guys something about raising money okay like if i went to the nba with my mentality i might have been out the league i might have been dead we admire it man and i you know I see, I see, I see exactly where you're going with it, bro. And I want to say I appreciate the motivation that you give, bro. Let me tell you how I almost lost our dreams. Good morning, guys. Good morning. 7.52 a.m. here in Cartagena, Colombia. It is Tuesday, July 30th. 2024 um man another day man another day uh i got so much so much on my mind <laughs> like i got like it's like my mind right now is just is racing it's racing um, I feel, you know, like, like a lot of gratitude to be able to do what I'm doing. That's the, you know, the first thing I really want to say today is that like, like I, I, I feel gratitude. I, I want to tell the universe and the world like how much gratitude that I have to be able to be actually doing what I'm doing right um I'm grateful I am I'm grateful to be in the position that I am like man startup this stuff is really really hard and progressively it gets easier, but then it gets harder at the same time. And when I say that, I mean, okay, like you start a startup, you don't have the money, you're looking to get investors, you're looking to build your company, you're looking to build your idea, you're looking to go get customers, but it's such a process to all of those different things. It's like different pools. Like going to get investors is a completely different pool than going to get customers. A completely different pool is knowing your business, right? A completely different pool is how you're going to market your business. And all of these things as a CEO, you have a hand in or two hands in, you know, the creative, that's a different pool. So all of those different things. And that's why I say like, it's not just if somebody gives you a million dollar check, it's like, yo, I'm off to the races. It's so many different things because even if somebody gave you a million dollar check, it's so many companies that literally, even though they had the funding, they fail. And when I say I'm grateful, I'm grateful for the fact that nothing happened too, too fast for me, okay? Like, it's been so many, so many different circumstances on my journey where I could have been given a million dollars, two million dollars, and it didn't happen. But it would have been at detriment to my growth like if i went to the nba with my mentality i might have been out the league i might have been dead ain't no telling because my mentality was was never ready for that type of um what do you call it like my mentality was not right for that type of money that you you know that 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 you can get, I didn't have the right support systems in place. Like it would have been like a free fall, 
right? And like I said, many different circumstances where, yo, I could have blew up, but I probably wasn't ready for the blow up. And now as I'm going, doing this startup, it's like, man, how much I'm learning and I'm almost ready, like literally. Like I'm, I'm almost ready. I've been ready for millions of dollars. But many people get millions of dollars and just lose the shit, right? So I think everybody's ready for millions of dollars. But are you ready for the millions of dollars and do the right thing with the millions of dollars, not just for yourself, but to make impact for the things that you're doing, right? and take that and make more money and make more money in order to circle it back to the things that you want to make impact in and i'm not sure if that even makes any sense because everybody wants to check y'all yeah, want to check i want to check but are you ready for the check that's the thing you know so i come here today on July 30th, 2024, just with so much gratitude because what I'm learning in my business and learning in my, learning in my customer, learning all these things is my market and learning, you know, how to be able to get money through your company, you know, how to tell a story, you know, all of these things, man, I just like, I'm about to be like, <laughs> like a, uh, like a real story from where I come from, the ghetto of Buffalo, east side, to building this thing. And I cannot say that over and over again. I can't say that over and over again. Because look, this is, this is, this, look, you can't even get this book. You know what I mean? But this, this book I wrote in 2019, you can't even get that book. But a lot of things that I did and a lot of things that I went through is in that book, you know? And only people that's close to me would even understand. And the transparency, that's why I'm documenting everything because shit. It's a real story. It's a real story. But yeah, I come in gratitude and um, I'm going to go ahead and get to work. And uh, you guys have a good day. What's going on, guys? It is 10 14 in the morning. And uh, right now, I'm going, I have a meeting at 11 a.m. And uh, the meeting is with a friend of mine's and it's about going through um, my deck and possibly uh, a crowdfunding investment opportunity for All Dreams and an opportunity for him to own shares into All Dreams, okay? So, um, I wanna, I want to tell you guys something about raising money, okay? And raising money is extremely hard for people that just don't have the resources. And when I say the resources, it's two things. It's the resources to people that have money, right? So a lot of people that come from you know, lower income neighborhoods and things like that. If you have an idea, people generally don't have the money to invest, right? Um, but also with that said, it's another part of it as well, as far as like resources another way, okay? And when I say resources another way, I mean they don't have the resources and like the mind capacity to even understand what building a technology company, what building uh, 
a platform or things like that is, okay? So it's twofold. You you know, when you come from lower income housing or, I mean, I'm not housing, but when you come from lower income situations, um, typically the people that you know don't have five, 10, 20, 30 grand to give you to do a startup, okay? But then also even explaining what you're doing, they more, more likely don't have the capacity to even know about that world of a longer term investment into uh, a startup company. And when I say resources, like, like it's, 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 it's terrible that it's like that. You know, it's terrible that it's like that because in upper, upper, upper class, they know about these things. They know about investing in startups at the ground floor, right? And what I've noticed is that they are very, very privy to knowing that information, right? They know about startups, they know about technology companies, whereas some people that that I talk to, they have no idea. The only thing they think of like investing into like a restaurant business or just regular businesses, which is completely different than investing in startups, okay? Um, and it's around in the beginning like of a startup where if you have resources, you do a friends and family round, okay? Friends and family round, you go to friends and family and you tell them that, hey, I'm doing a startup, this is what I'm doing, and an uncle might cut you a, tech, a check for 10 grand, right? Most of us, where I come from, that's not a thing. That's, that's not gonna happen. So now it's these uh, websites and these platforms that people can invest smaller money into startups. And it's one thing that I skipped, okay? Most times, even if someone had resources in a lower uh, income situation, they wouldn't be accredited to be able to invest into a startup because they would have to have like a million dollars net, net worth in order to invest into a startup. Okay, so it wouldn't even be a possibility. Me as a startup founder, I couldn't even take their money. So as I'm having this meeting today, I have this, uh, I have this campaign on WeFunder, okay? Whereas normal people can invest into my startup All Dreams, right? At a $13.5 million valuation cap, all right? And you might not understand what that is either, but maybe I'll explain that in another video, okay? But I have a meeting at 11 o'clock because I'm going to go over a presentation with my friend and show him how he possibly can invest in all dreams, not being an accredited investor, but get a piece of what we're building right now. Because what's happening, and I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest, what's happening is this. All of the people that's telling me no, the accelerators, all of the, you know, the bigger investors and things like that, that's telling me, no, I'm realizing, okay, let's just do it on ourselves, piece by piece, piece by piece. And I'm not going to really be listening to people, listening or even wanting people to invest at a certain point. I'm going to be on to like, just let me show you what it's going to be. And then what's going to happen? If I let you invest into my company, it's going to be at a much higher valuation cap. Okay, so that's what's happening right now. Like, right now, I'm very, very selective of who I even want to be involved in all dreams. Like, I just will not take anybody's money. I will take my landlord's money because we've established a relationship for over a year and a half, right? And he's seen me build, he's seen me building and he's helped me out during this time when we didn't have the money to pay, right? So, um, 
letting people in only, you know, only because they believe in me as a founder and they believe in all dreams and what it can and how it can impact the world. That's more of the people that I'm interested in investing in all dreams. And yes, we will make a lot of money. <laughs> like that's the thing, like we will make a lot of money. But if somebody is like, hey, I just want to make money with you. I just want to make, yeah, I just want to make money. I really don't want those people. Um, like even with uh, Launch New York, like them going through this whole coaching process and everything that I'm learning, they're adding value to me. So of course I would want them to invest into our dreams, right? So it's 1021 and uh, I'm just gonna prepare a little bit more uh, because getting my pitch right and my, you know, the story and everything correct is the number one key as we go out and selectively seek the investors that we want to be involved in this company. What's poppin', man? Good to see you, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, man. Same here, bro. <laughs> and I, I, I see what you've been doing, man, and I, I heavily admire it, man. And I, you know, I see, I see, I see exactly where you're going with it, bro. And I want to say I appreciate the motivation that you give, bro. For real. Man, I appreciate that, man. Me, it means a lot, man. You know, yo. So, yeah. look, all right. So let's let me let me get into this. So this is not like something where, yo, like yo, I want. I want you to invest in the company. I'm I'm actually practicing, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm practicing my pitch. Definitely. And um before you wouldn't be able to even invest into a startup because you have to be an accredited investor. I'm not sure if you know anything about that. So you have to have like a million dollars net worth or whatever. And right now I'm kind of flirting with the the opportunity to do this thing called WeFunder as a platform where startups can raise money uh from regular people and they don't mm -hmm. have to invest a thousand i think like the low the lowest amount is like a hundred bucks or something like that but you have to raise a certain amount in order to go to a you know a ne the next round and mm -hmm. because of everything that i've went through in raising you know because we haven't raised money besides you know what i mean like now i have my 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 uh my landlord that's he's got an equity partner but he, he's putting in a check but then I also had this program I'm going through called Launch New York and the okay. final big program. And in a, maybe like a month or two, I'll be able to pitch their, pitch them for uh, an investment. And they have three investment funds. So I'll be able to pitch all three of their investment funds. I think, I think personally, like the Founders Go Big program is for uh, minorities. I want to go through my, I want to go through my deck and then I want you just to shoot questions ask as much as you want and, okay. you know, and then so I want to see you understand everything. A bit about myself, uh, who I am, four-time business founder, probably founded more businesses than that, but those are the four that I'm, you know, that I've actually scaled a bit. So okay. I played basketball as a pro in 2000, 2003, 2004 in Argentina, HBCU alum. So one of the reasons why I started this company is because I was my own customer, to be honest with you, right? Um, in 2004, I was at like this crazy crossroads. I thought I was gonna play basketball for my whole life, at least, you know, until I was my age now. And uh, I got cut my second season in Argentina. You're almost done. So this is this is something that I just learned in the, in the, in the, in the class and you're gonna take this to your business. You know what I'm saying? Your business, you're going to utilize this as well, okay? So it's called Tam Sam Sam, okay? And what this is, is the total available market is Tam, right? So through our research, we found that it's 450 million athletes that have access to our app worldwide, okay? Huge, huge market. Like, but what's, we can't reach 450 million people. It's just impossible, right? So where will we start? We're going to start in the United States with 35 million people that's in our adjustable market. And then how many can we, what can we dominate? I, I think we can dominate 6.8 of those. And let's just talk lower scale because I have a video coming out today with what my coach said. He said, look, 35 million, just say at that 1%, 
That's 350,000 users. Yeah. At that $75 range, we are over $26 million ARR, which is annual recurring revenue. It's a pretty good business. That's at that's that's at that's at one percent of that that that's only three hundred and fifty thousand users, which is still a small business. With this, we said that we would be more at three million users in between three to five years, seventy million dollars in revenue. So that's with three million users, but with three hundred fifty thousand users on a lower scale. We still would be at 26 million annual return to revenue. So that's a good business. Right. Yeah, it's a good business. Shoot. Any questions? That's the presentation. That's what that's it. That's the pitch. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah. So first of all, you know, it was definitely I like the way that it was uh, you know, very well organized. And then in addition to that, looking at sports as a business from young. Is going to be very important for the for the children too. That's why I feel like this is definitely a good a good angle because you know a lot of us you know they we play sports for fun. You know what I'm saying we don't do it any other way. And when it's time to come, you know, get coaches and things because I I have I have friends and one of my friends you know he was he he went all American and you know he play, he played in the NFL and and now he's you know similar to your your story like this the story is very very much similar. Um, right. He uh. He played at he played for Pitt, um, you know he played at ECC, mm-hmm. and then basically he ended up going to the NFL. And then after everything, you know he ended up getting cut by the coach. Right. And then from there, you know he had to kind of figure out, all right, what am I going to do now? And then okay. from there, we, me and him, ended up doing doing music. Right. So you know, I've been, you know, that's why it's ironic that you know you know both of your stories kind of line together. So ironically, you know, fast forward to now, he's going to be uh, coaching at his at uh, ECC. So he's going to be doing coaching, and he and he has a lot of kids that that he trains and that that reaches out to him. So I'll definitely, you know what I mean, have you know have the link for him to to share with his kids too, but that way that they have that organization because that's really what it's about. You know what I mean? Right, right. I'm not sure how the people that you know want to take advantage of the kids are going to feel being that they're organized, but I feel like this is excellent for the kids that you know that need that that support. You know, they got a bike. Like yes, just yesterday I had to buy my son cleats, mouthpiece for football, you know what I mean? And if we would have been saving already, then, you know, right. it would have been, you know what I mean? And then, but I, I definitely admire the business sense of it and everything like that. What's up, man? How y'all doing, man? If this is your first time here, make sure y'all like, subscribe, give a comment, man. I want to talk to you guys, man. Man, let's, let's, yo, let's, let's kick it, man. So, um, I want to talk about a couple of things today. I want to talk about how I almost lost all dreams. <laughs> yeah, I almost lost all dreams. And I did not know how close I was to losing all dreams until today. That's the crazy thing about it. So before I get into that story, I want to say that We are 94 days away from launch. 94 days away from launch. I will be uploading dailies for 94 days at least and surpassing 94 days. I'm going to continue documenting this journey. But yes, 94 days until launch, November first of the all dreams platform um as you've seen in the footage before this the meeting with a potential investor and not an accredited investor that has to have one million dollars net worth imagine if you were able to invest in uber for a hundred bucks when the platform, when Uber was just getting started. So possibly we're being very selective on who we want to invest. So soon I will be dropping 
a WeFunder link so you can invest. The minimal investment is $100 and you will own a piece of all dreams and be a part of this company. So, yes, you can own stock in all dreams. Um, I will let you guys know when that's available, you know, when you can buy shares into all dreams. Again, the minimal investment is $100. Um, so let me tell you how I almost lost all dreams. So as I'm going through this process right now of working with my development team and the things that they need. So they needed a bunch of things. They needed me to do a Google Play account. Or they needed me to do uh, an Apple developer account. The, I had the uh, Amazon Web Services account. But it was some things that they needed needed me to do. So the Apple developer account and also the Google Play account, I just realized today how I almost lost all dreams. So when, I'm gonna take you guys back real fast. After I realized that athletes, needed to be supported and supporters would support athletes. And I'm like, yo, there's no way we can make 1 million collections of, of t-shirts and then support 1 million athletes that way. Just wasn't gonna be feasible, wasn't even possible. I said, I know that this is a thing because we tested it, but we need a platform, okay? We need a platform where Athletes can upload their videos and people can support them by supporting their dream and athletes can you know have the stores for their their sports journey, build a community and um, and actually earn money for their dream. So I'm like, yo, I need a platform, like a worldwide platform. This problem is all over the world. It's happening in Africa, it's happening in the United States, it's happening in uh, Latin America, everywhere. This could be big. So I meet a guy on Y Combinator. Um, it's like a, you know how you guys that like to date many girls, um, always like on Tinder and Bumble and shit? Well, this right here is like Tinder and Bumble for finding a co-founder, <laughs> Y Combinator. So, I find this guy and he is an engineer. So generally what happens is a guy like me, that's an entrepreneur, a founder, you know, has this idea and he wants to create something, then he may partner with a technical co-founder and they split the equity, okay? So I found a co-founder, but normally with a co-founder, what's supposed to happen is he, the co-founder is supposed to build the, the product, the platform for the equity because it's the other founder's idea and they've probably made progress like I had. So this guy, we'll call him the fake co-founder. The fake co-founder never really agreed to build the platform. He says, hey, I'm going to be the CTO, Chief Technical Officer, or the Chief Technology Officer, and I'm gonna, and I have a, de a dev team, a development team, that's going to build a platform. So, cool. I'm so thirsty, I'm a thirsty ass dude. Man, I just want to get my app going, man. We can make, you know, do all our things, man. Man, I need this thing to start making money, man. You know, this is me. Right? So we make a deal with the, de with the, the development team. 
he ain't building nothing. He was more like a connection guy. Hey, I'm gonna connect you to the de developmental team. This how much it's gonna cost. This how much the design costs and this, this and that, okay? So he like, yo, it's gonna cost this much money. I'm like, all right, well, let me go out and try to get some investors. So he like, all right, cool. Well, they gonna start working on, they gonna start working on the platform. So we got the milestone one and I'll take you, I'll, I'll actually take this video and go back. So you can see like we had milestone one complete, but I didn't get any, any investors. So he like, yo, they need to get paid. I'm like, yo, bro, you gotta wait a little bit of time, you know, and everything just hit the fan. So, I mean, this dude was just, he just went off. Like he basically quit the company and everything. Like, I mean, like called me all type of names like for real like it was bad like it was so bad this was in april never even talked about this story now before we even got started we had to do all of the things like aws amazon web services where i had to give the developers the back end information so they can develop on in the back end same thing for google play and the app store the apple app store right so the one thing I did was I gave them the AWS and they was able to use it. The one thing I didn't do was the Apple developer um, thing or the Google Play thing. So when I did it today, I found out that all of that stuff needs to be verified all the way to your passport, your address everything needs to be verified and it costs money so the google play store costs 25 dollars and the apple developer um to get your your app on on uh on the ios is like 90 99 dollars a year how i almost lost all dreams is because that fake co-founder guy he put all of his information in the app in the google play store and also and also in the uh, apple app store so therefore they i pay the developers they build the app and everything goes to him because i don't even have the account he has the account and the funny thing about all of this is we had a design it's always been all dreams right and somehow in the beginning of that design the splash screen the splash screen says all dreams somehow the splash screen when we went over milestone one says dream catcher and i'm like yo what the f is that okay so i am just uh, giving you a demo mm -hmm. what i have created Okay. So this is the first screen, which is splash. Uh, After that, this is the. Okay, you don't yeah. have you don't have the logo for uh, the uh, all dreams, right? I have to give you the logo. Yeah, but I think you have changed in Figma uh, because uh, I'm sharing you. I'm showing you. No, this no, is no, the no, splash no, screen. No, no, right? no, 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 no! I have not changed. I have not changed. It was never. But someone has changed, so that's why I was uh, thinking that this is a splash. Is it? I have. Okay, I will, I will check with Hassan if he has done that. But uh, that was the logo. I ideally, I don't know how it could change. Uh, anyways, I will talk to him and I will. I will see. Bro, you see that? I almost lost all dreams. Like he knows that I don't know how to work Figma. I don't know anything about working Figma. They changed the logo because they were going to steal all dreams. That's the proof right there. Look. Right? This guy was planning to steal all dreams. Like it's clear to me because I just did all of the login information and 
and all of that information for the Apple developer, uh, iOS, and also Google Play. And guess what? I would have paid for the app and I would have never even been able to get it back. And everything would have went to him. He would have stole all dreams. Moral of the story, moral of the story. First off, don't be thirsty. Second off, God will reveal the people that's not supposed to be in your journey because he wasn't. And God revealed that early, early on, but I still didn't take heed to like, yo, nah, he ain't, I was just so anxious to get my platform and so anxious to build this app and so anxious to start this business that the signs were there and I just did not, like, it just like, yo, we still going, we still moving forward. Thank God none of that happened and we are where we are now. It's a part two to this story because the guy that actually designed, he's a designer, the guy that actually designed the All Dreams platform, I'm working with as part of my team as, a, as in his development team, right? Because the guy, the fake co-founder, after everything fell apart, guess what he did? He stole the design that I already had paid like $2,000 for. So I didn't even have access to my design. So, like I said, moral of the story. Moral of the story. It's on God's time. And God will reveal these people that's not supposed to be on your journey with you. Okay? Don't be so anxious. Don't be so anxious. I know we all want to get things done, man. We want, like, we have these ideas. Man, just take your time. Just take your time. And, man, when somebody does something, believe them. When they show you their true colors, believe them, for real. Um, yeah, but look, 94 days until we launch All Dreams and I'll let you guys know when you can invest in all dreams. I'm telling you, you might want to, but before we let anyone invest in all dreams, you guys have to meet with me in order to see if it's even a fit. If you're not about impact, I won't even let you invest into my company. I'm sorry. Yo, this view is crazy. And that's Old City right there. So that's Old City right there. And look how deep the ocean goes, like it's crazy. Then you got the pools below. Yeah, this is stupid. Here, let me, you, let me show you something. Look at this view. Uh, I'm to get back in the sauna right now. This one feels so good, though. You know? Ain't no playing no ball anyway, man. It's still raining. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Peace, I'll see you tomorrow, and I'll see you for the next 93 more days at least.